audio rolling. Let's see. Is it? It is. Okay. And action. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to our road trip to California. We stopped by Columbus, Ohio, saw St. Louis, and we also got to actually take a riverboat cruise on the Mississippi, and that was a lot of fun. I sang a song in front of the arch, and also we stayed in Litchfield, Illinois. But before we headed towards California, we stopped by Sweetie Pies in St. Louis to see what all the fuss is about. And now we continue our trip to California by first stopping in Colorado to camp. All right, we are in Kansas. The frogs are chirping behind us. There's a dog stalking me also, stalking us. Here we go. Don't know if you can see him. Where is he at? Brown dog. Brown dog. Sit on that chair right there. Anyhow. Being stalked. Either way, just recorded a loop. Thank you, baby. I told Jamal that I didn't really super like what I did. But his, um, you know, response to me was like, well, you're being prolific. And isn't that the point? Not to be good, right? And I feel like when you become prolific, you become good. And you might not like everything you make, but the point is just to keep creating and keep making. I'm sure no point might be out here. Um, but the sun is just coming out. It was cloudy earlier. It's still cool. It's like 60 something degrees. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to go back to the hotel to rest because tomorrow, starts our second half of the adventure in Colorado <laughs> and we're gonna be sleeping in the car <laughs> yes. Yay! that's gonna be I can't see it sorry, sorry. but um my arms not as long Ooh, perfect okay <laughs> but um yeah so we're gonna be sleeping in the car which I'm really excited and nervous about mm -hmm. um yeah yeah one thing I'm discovering on this trip is I love wearing bright colors yes I colors love bright nice. colors huh the colors are nice Colors are nice. Yes. Yay. But um, yeah, so we're gonna be charging everything, taking today to rest. It's Sunday, which is perfect, the Sabbath. Yeah. And we can just chill. Yeah. Um, work on stuff we wanna work on, watch stuff we wanna watch, mm -hmm. nap, eat. Mm -hmm. Do it all over again. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow we'll leave around eight AM, we say. Yeah. So we got an eight hour drive. Yeah. So Yes, yeah, an eight hour drive. Full day. To Denver. Driving. So a whole day. And if we stop in the middle, I think that's fine too. Yeah. Um, but we really want to get to Denver because, no offense, the middle of America has been so flat and boring. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but Colorado, just being able to see the mountains and the rivers and mm -hmm. all the things I'm really excited about and Garden of the Gods and all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then also I feel like out in the West, they have more uh, land, like more BLM land and right, more right, um, right. places to yeah to boondock yeah as opposed to like you know kind of over Midwest to the east it's not very kind to people who are nomads yeah nor is it kind for people who are um, unhoused yeah so hopefully we'll be able to find Cross. some oh, we're gonna say <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to find some half decent uh, BLM lands or Cracker Barrels yeah. WalMarts yeah all those things so absolutely are you ready for it yeah you ready absolutely we did it in the rv but in the car it's different because we're not going to have like yeah. a, the main thing i'm worried about is a toilet i'm just gonna be <laughs> yeah. honest yeah that's, that's the main fair. thing i'm worried about is just having to pee or poop mm -hmm. um handle my personal business other than that i think i'm fine yeah. we've boondocked before in our rv without running water i mean we ran we went ran water to wash our hands but we didn't like take showers and stuff like yeah. that because water is you know sparse yeah. when you're out boondocking yeah um so I feel like I'm fine on that front. And we have a Planet Fitness membership. We can, we can shower wherever we want to, um, yeah. pay for showers at truck stops. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bathroom is the only thing that I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. What about you? Uh, just being safe yeah. in general. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, I mean. This is America. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, as we continue to make our way west, we're hoping the weather will be better. Yeah. Because uh, it's been really, really hot. Yes. And so hopefully the weather is tampering itself down yes getting a little bit more comfortable to be able to sleep and stay in the car yeah overnight and yeah having more places to boondock uh dry camp or whatever 
yeah. it would be great. Absolutely. It would be great. So yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Me it's too. like the main mission of what we're doing. So to get be, to Cali. Yeah. And to sleep in the car. Yeah. So once we start doing that, then we'll feel accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, to be fair, again, these past few days, I've been taking care of my lady days hmm. and I need comfort. I need, I need a bathroom. I need a shower. Yeah. I need yeah. all those things. Absolutely. All of the, you know, uh, amenities Absolutely. to handle my lady days. And so now that it's almost done. Yeah. Um, and you know, you're just tired too for all my yeah. ladies watching. Yeah. You're tired too. So like, it's just, I don't have the energy. Yeah. Um, literally the, it's like towards the end of the cycle. It's like, okay, I feel a little better now. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so, um, so now I am excited yeah because i don't have to worry about that anymore Yay. well for the you know next what 28 yeah, days we'll be back home Anyhow. by then yeah we'll probably, probably be back home by then yeah. maybe who knows yeah <laughs> as she sneaks away <laughs> all right good morning um today we're on our way to denver colorado and i just got finished my walk i'm really excited because in denver we're actually going to try to Sleep in the car for the first night ever. Yay. So lady days are done pretty much. And we feel like it's a good good point in time to try to sleep in our car because that's what we got it for. Um, so hopefully from here on out, we'll be able to sleep in our car as we make our way to Denver, um, make our way to California, excuse me, from through Denver, Nevada, really Albuquerque. But anyway, all these lands have like BLM land, which is, um, land that belongs to the Bureau of Land Management and so therefore you can park there and, and camp there for 14 days tops and there's also places to camp in between. The East Coast doesn't have a lot of these places but the West Coast does and so um, the hope is that while we're on our way to the West Coast we'll be able to camp for free. Yay. Hi friends, we are in the car. Yay! We're here. Here is <laughs> Cherry Creek State Park. And technically this is the first night of us camping in the car. And as you can see all the things behind us, we have to work out a system because we have to put down that back seat. It's weird because it's backwards. This back seat down so that we can, okay, there's something crawling on the window. Put down the back seat and then arrange all the stuff so that we can lay down. Ooh, some people have golf carts. <laughs> nice. Nice. But yeah, so we have to put down the back seat so we can lay down in the back. Um, this is our first night officially camping in the car. Yay! So we made it. Yay! Yay! And um, yeah, so now begins the fun. And again, my main worry, as I said before, was pooping and peeing, right? Because that's natural. Things happen. You're human. And um, I'm pretty regular. So one of my worries was like, well, where am I going to poop? Because we only have a car. We're used to traveling in our RV. Um, that, you know, the bathroom is always accessible. Um, but yeah. But here, which is great, over in the distance, they have... Let me see if you can... Let's zoom in. That building right there. You can kind of see it. There are pieces of it right there. Bricks. Yeah, with bricks. It has a bathroom. So all is saved. The day is saved. Thanks to the oh. toilet. <laughs> right, the parks, state parks, indoor plumbing. So um, we won't have to rough it too much today, which is great. Um, and I think the key is to find campsites or parking places with toilets, hopefully. Um, so no telling what the toilet is gonna be like when I go in there. And again, I've talked at this point for like five minutes about toilets. But anyway, that was, the main, that was my main worry. Other than that, I'm fine. Ooh, you can see some oops, too close. In front of us, a pop-up. Yeah. Oh yeah, my um, parents had one for my um, grandparents. Um, people have tents. There's another car beside us. So yeah, we're here and we're gonna set up the 
the, I would say house, <laughs> set, up, set up the car now to be a house, to be some place to lay down and to read. It's still early. It's, it's only, it's like six o'clock. So we still have a lot of daylight left, like at least three hours. We have salad for dinner, um, fruits and veggies, fun. <laughs> and um, yeah, because we don't have anything to cook with. Technically, there's a um, pit here to cook, the fire pit. But we didn't bring any charcoal or aluminum foil or food to roast. But that's good to know. So that way, I don't know why I forgot about all the stuff that's available. But that way, we can, if we want to, we can grill yeah. and cook outside. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. Yay. All right, friends. So <laughs> we just started moving the stuff out the way so that we can... Um, what do you call it? Sleep. Sleep. So let me show you what we got. All right. All right, so we just moved everything out the back seat and now Jamal's pushing forward the bed. Voila. Ooh. So we have our book bags and stuff in there, but um, probably move it up, yeah, back here. I think it'll be easier for us to come in this way uh after i put the shades and stuff i can close this yeah and then we can climb in this way yeah from the side uh -huh. yeah okay i was saying so now the tricky part is all the stuff on the top of the car is put in it okay so i gotta move out the way this is all the stuff that has to go in the car <laughs> so did we do too much huh we did too much We'll figure it out. Okay, we'll consolidate. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, but that means you'll have to get out of the car. Okay. Yeah. Let me put in my crop. Okay. Awesome. I'm excited. Yay. Doesn't this look cool? <laughs> yeah. It's like a little, like, you know when you're a kid and you used to, like, make little forts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you used to, like, um, you know, design little homes and stuff for yourself, like little nooks. I feel yeah. like that's what we're doing. We're being kids. Absolutely. <sighs> I'm excited. 100%. I'm about to turn up the air though. Okay. It's yeah. hot. These blankets are hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll roll down the other way. Okay. But uh, you can still have the air. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Real quick. Oh, these windows. We put little this on it so that we can roll down our windows at night without bugs getting in. Yeah. Which is. We'll let you know how well that works. Yeah, we'll pray. We'll pray. Absolutely. All right. All right, so I'm in the back of the car right now. My legs are extended and it's actually pretty spacious. I don't know if you can see, but my legs are all the way over here. So we're probably gonna put this seat down um, so that Jamal can have more leg room because he's taller than me. So I'm about 5'9". And right now it's pretty good and I think I will sleep this way so that I can see I can see the, the sky right it's like I seriously feel like a, um, a five-year-old I feel like I'm a kid again and this is like our new adventure I'm really excited so we'll always keep this seat up just in case we're parking somewhere and we just have to go we gotta go so yeah This is our first night camping in the Prius. We got salads for dinner, bananas, some tea, and a gorgeous sunset. And the weather is perfect. And some donuts. Cause balance. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It's perfect. Perfect. The weather's perfect. It's mild. The sun is shining. The breeze. You can smell a campfire. It smells really good. Yeah. So we got this cutlery from Target. Right. <laughs> Technically, I think it's like kid cutlery because it says like Cat and Jack. Yeah. Um, but we needed some cutlery on the road. <laughs> so reusable stuff. This is reusable. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't keep throwing away. 
forks and knives. Yeah. Trying to do the good to the world. To the, world. To the earth. earth. Um, so yeah, so the yellow ones are mine. And Ron got the blue ones. Thanks for wiping it down. We just put our salad on there. Gave salad dressing on our salad. It's really just lettuce, it's not really salad. And gave it a shake to distribute this evenly. Hopefully it did. And again, got some snapples, got some tea. And this is the dressing we used. It's Primal Kitchen Italian with avocado, but it separates really fast. Yeah, it does. Like it doesn't have any chance. <laughs> as soon as you shake it, it's separated already. It's like we're natural. All natural. So this is our views. Saw some prairie dogs earlier. And rabbits. There was a rabbit right there when we pulled up. A deer? Oh yeah, we did see a deer. Not nearby, but we saw a deer on the way in. Yeah, that was a horrible panoramic, but that got the point. <laughs> um, so yeah, now we're about to eat and relax for the rest of the evening. Relax for the rest of the evening. After we eat, we throw away this stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe walk around a little bit. And then go lay down, because literally there's no space in the car to do anything else. <laughs> Except lay down. I mean, I guess we could sit up. But, um, yeah, it's good to stretch before we lay, we lay back down. <laughs> Gonna be in a, in a uh, position parallel to the ground for the most time right now. I would say RV in the car. So, yay. Yay, look at the birds flying away for the evening. It's a big state park. It is really People big. People are, like, fishing and boating. Mm-hmm. Where's the water? Is it this way? Or is it that way? Is that way? There's like a big lake over there. Or, yeah, that's a lot of pollen. Y'all can see this in the video too. So, RIP to those who have, <laughs> it's trees mating. RIP to those who have allergies. Gross. But it's true. It's true. The trees be pollinating. They be Summer making a sex. Summer love. Why are we allergic to their sex? That's interesting. Anywho. <laughs> Alright, dinner time. For your weary soul, go offline. Must be desert. <laughs> nasty, hey guys. Nasty jazz. Nasty jazz. So we are officially laid down in the car. Yeah. Proof that's outside. It's outside. Typically we would cover this um, yeah. if we're dry camping places. But since we're at a campground and the sky down. yeah, the sky is clear. We figured this might be a okay idea to kind of sleep under the stars. Mm -hmm. Quote unquote. Yeah. Because we're still inside the car. <laughs> So it's a new moon tonight, so hopefully we can see something. But we are near Denver, so you know. yeah, it might be uh, too much light pollution to yeah. see a lot of stuff. We should be able to see something. Yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. If not, it'll just be dark. We'll just we'll go, just to go sleep. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, we tried to use the potty before um, we lay down so that we don't have to get back up. Hopefully, yeah. um, let's pray because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to have to get get out this car again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can. I just got to put on clothes, though, and that's a lot. Mm -hmm. It took a lot to get undressed. Mm -hmm. um, how we got undressed? Obviously, we're not going to show on a video, okay. but I got undressed first, mm -hmm. and um, I just took up time and space, laid down, took off stuff, mm -hmm. put stuff on, mm -hmm. um, and then Jamal came in. Yeah. After me. Yeah. Squeezed my way in and tried to. Yeah. Put it together. I'll probably next time I'd probably change it the little thing. Oh, the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's smart. But then I don't know. Mm -hmm. Then I don't want no bugs or nothing on my clothes and I'm about to lay down. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the only issue. Yeah, it's understandable. But either way. Yeah. 
This is a very unflattering angle. I mean, <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, it's fine. But we're laid down. There's not a lot of space. Yeah, I'm, I'm joking, though. But, um, yeah, we're about to... And my first night. night yeah, I know. First night in Hotel Prius. How are you feeling? I'm okay for right now. Um, trying to, like... There's little things I want to adjust, but mm -hmm. I probably can't adjust them. Like what? Like the lights up in the front. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm sure I can dim them, but I would Do have to... Do they bother you when they're so far? Uh... Talking about the dashboard lights. Yeah, the dashboard lights. Nothing. It's not bothersome right now. Yeah. I guess I'm thinking about other things that can help save the battery. Um, but the car is going to be on. So. Yeah, the car's going to be on. Oh, yeah, so that's the thing. Yeah. Duh. So we're in the Prius. We're going to keep the car on all night. Yeah. Because it's a hybrid, we mm. can. Mm. Um, and so right now we're at half a tank. So we're going to see what the tank is in the morning. Yeah. But either way, we can leave our car on because it'll alternate between the battery mm -hmm. and the engine. Yeah. Um, and the engine powers the battery. Yeah. And so it'll yeah, run for a little bit, then yeah. sit on battery. Yeah. And run for a little bit, then sit on battery. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and we'll see because I mean, the temperature is supposed to drop, yeah. we may not even need it. Like, right now, we have the air running. Um, it feels a little warm, yeah. And I think it's because we're moving around and doing stuff, yeah, or exercising basically to change, yeah. yeah and, um, and it's starting to level out like the temperature outside is starting to match the temperature mm -hmm. in here, yeah. So, once that happens, I'll just turn off the air. And we have blankets, so I can yeah. get under the blanket if I need to, yeah, if it gets chilly. I think you're okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah. First night. How are you feeling? I'm good. You good? good? Yeah. I'm good too. I was nervous. I was nervous, but I think I'm good. I feel good. Right now, it's spacious. Our head is near the trunk again, so we could look out. Um, our feet are near the front of the car. Um. I have my water. A dinner. And uh, it's a first night. And I think some of the anxiety that I felt earlier is gone. Right, like I feel like I was like, oh no, what if what if I have to use the bathroom? How's this really gonna work? Are we gonna be alone in the in the in the middle of the wilderness? Like, am I gonna have to dig a hole and poop in it? You know those kinds of things. And I feel like now that we're here, um, this feels good. It feels good, and it's a it's a lot cheaper than um, hotels. <laughs> so the hotel we stayed at last night was a hundred and something. 166 166 right to stay here at this park was only $28 granted apparently Colorado we came at the wrong time apparently summertime is like Colorado's vacation season where everybody's outside which makes sense because their kids just got out of school but the last time we came to Colorado it was fall so there was way less people here and way more space so the campground we're at tonight we kind of lucked out I guess because it's sold out um <laughs> So, thank goodness we're not um, staying another night. We're going to, where are we going tomorrow? Colorado Springs area. Yeah, we, we um, to... yeah, making our way to New Mexico to go west to California, finally. <laughs> so, hopefully, I think for the rest of the trip, we can do these. One, save money. But also, it just felt so nice to be out in nature. It just felt so good. The air was so, like, clean and... It wasn't too hot, like the sun was still beaming on us, but it, like it wasn't too much. Um, it was just like a perfect moment. We were out there eating our salads, smelling like campfire, people like burning their fires and stuff like that. It just felt good. It felt like all was right for like 30 seconds. And I feel like in the hotel, there's more hustle bustle. There's noise everywhere. There's checking in. It's like the stress of all that stuff. But out here, it's like... You can take a breath. And nobody's going to walk on top of us. We woke up this morning <laughs> at 6 something a.m. because our neighbors upstairs were stomping. And I th we think our neighbor upstairs was like a child, like a little kid. But still, if you're on the top floor, don't let your kid run around and stomping on the floor and stuff. That's rude. Um, but yeah, but there's no one going to stomp on our, on our car, hopefully. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it should be fine. I mean... We've, some chapstick. we've slept out in the RV and stuff before, so yeah, it's just a small RV. That's very true. It's just everything's so close to you, like the yeah. windows and everything. Usually, yeah. if we're in the RV, the windows are like really far, so yeah. you can close it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it feels like a room, yeah, rather, rather than like a tent. I was, I don't even know what this feels like. I feel like car. tents even have more space than yeah, this, yeah, like headroom, headroom, yeah, because yeah. um, all the 
space is literally in the middle of the car, mm-hmm. and that's where our legs are. So there's no yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Unless we unless we slept with our heads down that way, that's the only way that yeah it'd be different. But in order to see the stars, we got to sleep this way. Yeah, and I just feel like this is better because um, it's more it? solid and flat. So like okay, where our feet are is where the headrests are for mm-hmm. the back passenger seats, the yeah. back back seats that we put down. Yeah. Um, and so you okay? <laughs> Looking at myself. I'm oh. Like, Given double chin, it's fine. Uh, no, I mean, hold on, let's see. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. Wait, I'm a normal person. It's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and like so, the this is right over the trunk, or this is the trunk. Yeah. So it's flat, more solid. Yeah. And um, I think if we needed to, we can move our legs around. Yeah. There's a little bit of space this way. Yeah. Well, I feel like also back here. I mean, I'm sorry. Near our feet, it kind of drops off a little bit, yeah. like where the seats. Yeah. in like the top of the back seat ends yeah. where it's folded down it just yeah. drops off and there's space yeah at the bottom so we would have to be careful not to like our next yeah. Yeah. <laughs> next fall into yeah. the crevice and i think it's also easier to get out of the car this way that's fair yeah um before really? yeah um because it's not one there there's a way you'd have to do some engineering and fixing stuff that you can open the trunk from the inside i don't want to do that but you can't like like, yeah until you (laughs) if you don't do that then there's no way to open the trunk from the inside so after you close it your feet would be down here Mm -hmm. and then you would have to kind of do like acrobatics to get Mm -hmm. out of the door Mm -hmm. but this way you just open the door and you You can kind of step out that's true that's true um but you know we'll see how this goes we'll see how getting up in the morning goes yeah lord god please don't let me have to use the bathroom tonight please dry it up Till the morning, yes. Hold it. Close the floodgates. Hold it. <laughs> but yeah. So we'll see. We'll Talk see. to you guys in the morning. Mwah. Good Bye. night. Good night. Good night. Sleep Good tight. Night. Don't do my buzz bite. Please. Oh. Don't say that. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. <joking. laughs> Good night. See you guys. It never goes black. <laughs> Hello, friends. We're back. Miles here. It's not as loud as <laughs> but, but we're laying down and we can see. You can see what we see, kind of. The, the silhouette. The, the silhouette, trees. yeah. And the sunset. And the sunset. And Miles says there's stars up there already. Yep. I see one in the distance. I'm like, yeah. Is that the North Star? Uh, I don't know if no. you can see it on the camera. No, probably not. Sorry, y'all. The maybe thing is later. about this camera, yeah, maybe later. The thing about cameras is like it, it never captures mm-hmm. the beauty that you see with your naked eye. You can't do it. Mm-hmm. But we try. We try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Can you zoom in? No. Anyway, let me try that. They have a night mode. Wait, this is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you can see one star. Oh, good. Y'all can see this star. In the distance. Let's see if I get closer. Ten. Oh, hold on. Too close, too close. Too much sauce. There we go. What's the star? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, y'all can see what we see. Do you see what I see? Said the little lamb to the shepherd boy. (laughs) Good night, everybody. (laughs) The sun's rising. There's one. morning time and I gotta pee. Loki been holding it in all night. <laughs> but um yeah only because I didn't want to get out the car. Well we woke up this morning and there were a bunch of moths like pecking at the window. Crazy. Like crazy animals. 
but apparently it's moth season in Colorado. So, and they're dusty. I forget what the name uh, is, but they're like a particular kind of moth that comes out. So now he's bed. Yay. Good morning. I slept okay. As soon as you find a place that feels comfortable, yes. kind of just goes off. Um, so I mean, it's fine. I think once we get a system down, I'm going to pass a little bit. Once we get a system down. As soon as you get a, you know, comfortable or whatever, you can go to sleep. Yeah. And so it wasn't that noisy. I don't think it would be any different if we parked at like a Walmart or something like that. Really? The noise? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of traffic. Yeah. Um, you know, so like maybe not one, maybe not a Walmart that's like right in the heart of the city. Yeah. But, you know, maybe like an outskirts of a town. Yeah. You know, you hear some traffic. It's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. It's still pretty early here, apparently. Like, I think we're still in like this five o'clock hour. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, yeah, the sun right? definitely woke us up. Yeah. Which and is fine. Yeah, in the moths. Like, literally, the moths. Um, yeah. It kind of sounded like rain for a second. It did. But it was weird. Yeah. yeah. And then we looked up, and it was just all these moths trying to get in. Yeah. So, like I said, apparently, um, moth season is early spring, late summer, or sorry, early spring, early summer. Um, no, oh, that's a little bit better. Yeah, early spring, early summer, um, and the birds are having a feast right now, so yeah, they're going off good because yeah. there was a lot of them joints. Absolutely. And we've been seeing moths around Colorado, but we didn't know what it was from or yeah, what no. it was for. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so I guess it makes sense now. It's yeah. moth season yeah. on the eastern side of Colorado, so probably when we get to the western side, mm -hmm. it'll be less of that. But I've seen some prairie dogs. <laughs> yeah. Um, random, but yeah. there'll be other critters. That's my whole point. Yeah, absolutely. If it's not moth, it'll, there'll be something else. Yeah, absolutely. Be careful with the prairie dogs. They're very cute, but mm -hmm. apparently they, they carry ticks or fleas or something. Yeah. They carry like the bubonic plague or something like that. Yeah, they're know. dirty. It's dirty. Yeah. So what are we finna do now? Uh, I guess we can, well, we have an appointment later on today, so, but we have time to kill. So I guess we could lay down or do our, like, morning devotionals and stuff. Yeah, I do want to do my morning devotionals. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. Because it, sometimes it's hard to go back to sleep once you get up. Yeah. So. Sorry, we're low energy. I think, I mean, we just got up. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's I also, fine. I also don't think I've been getting a lot of good deep sleep on this trip. Yeah, I guess because we're always in some place new and doing yeah. something different. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. Good morning, bunny. Good morning. Cutie. This bunny just watching us pack up. <laughs> it's so cute. He's like, so y'all leaving? Yes. Good morning, happy breakfast. Mm, must be good. Have a beautiful day, bunny. Stay safe out here. Mm -hmm.